Welcome to the video series on research methods and analysis by data and research. This video will see how to do an independent sample t-test using SPSS and interpret the results. We will use an independent sample t-test if the independent variable is in nominal or ordinal level of measurement. The variable is at the ordinal or nominal level because it has categories. Such variables are also called categorical variables. The independent variable will be in two categories here, as in sex. We will have only one independent variable. But we can have more dependent variables. The dependent variables should be in interval or ratio level of measurement or they should be continuous variables. One example of a dependent variable can be resting time. The dependent variable has to be normally distributed. We will categorize dependent variable scores based on the independent variable. There are two categories here. The resting time of males and resting time of females. Scores of the dependent variable in each of these two categories should have homogeneity in variance. In other words, it should not be like this. Here in male data, the spread of the resting time scores is mean that is 6 plus or minus 2. In female data, the spread of the scores is mean plus or minus 1. There is no homogeneity of variance in these categories. Here, there is a homogeneity of variance. Independent sample t-test thus depends on formalities related to the data distribution across the categories in the sample. So, it is a distribution dependent test. Also, this is a parametric test. The test of the sample has to be normally distributed and should represent the population. These are the assumptions of independent sample t-test. Now we will see how to do an independent sample t-test using SPSS. For doing it, we have to know another thing which we can consider as homogeneity of variance. To do the t-test in independent samples, these samples have to be homogeneous or we should have a homogeneity of variance in these two groups. The test of homogeneity tests a hypothesis. There is no significant difference between males data and females data variance. SPSS has Levin's F test to test the homogeneity. This is the hypothesis for independent sample t-test. There is no significant difference between males and females in resting time. We will see how to do the analysis. This is fictitious data. Uh, gender is here and other variable is resting time. See, uh, male is considered as 1, coded as 1, female is coded as 2 in this data. We have to go to analyze, then we have to compare means, then independent sample t-test. This window will come, we will send resting time to the test variable and gender to the in independent variable. And we, the codes we have to enter here in this box and just press OK. In the second table, the first one is Levin's F. Near to that is significance. Significance is a P, probability. After Levin's F, we can see 2T here. If the Levin's F indicate that the data is homogeneous, then we will take the upper T. If it shows that it is not homogeneous, then we will take the lower t. The lower t is a corrected one based on the degree of freedom. We can see the degree of freedom in the next 
column and after that there is significance of t let us see if the data is homogeneous or not this is the result of levin's f test for equality of variance here f is a coefficient that indicates whether the data is homogeneous or not next to the coefficient is p or probability here p is greater than 0 0.05 that means there is no difference between males data and females data variance in other words the data is homogeneous as the two groups are homogeneous we will take the t in the upper row we will copy the group statistics and we will paste it in an excel sheet and now we will remove the standard error means from it we will copy the second table from here in the excel sheet we will paste it this is Levin's F and this is its significance this is T copy the T towards the and this is P we will develop a table like this so I am writing T here this is P and this is SD this is mean We'll copy this table from here. We'll paste the table here. We'll modify that we can present in a journal. This is the table we just prepared. This is the T, 22.67. This is the most important value in this table. The T indicates if there is a significant difference between males and female in resting time. This is P or probability of T. If P is less than 0.05, then the difference between males and females in resting time is significant. P is 0 0.00 which is definitely lesser than 0 0.05. So there is a difference. We have to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative. There is a significant difference between males and females in resting time. Now who has a higher resting time? For this, we have to refer to mean. The mean for males is 7.98 and mean for females is 3.97. We are moving to another precise alternative. Males have higher resting time than females. Now, it is no more a hypothesis. It's our finding. Hope you enjoyed learning about independent sample t-test. If you have any questions, suggestions or recommendations, please write to dnr365 at gmail.com.